UW Love and Mama. Today I'm going to share with you my Disney Store Outlet haul. Recently my family traveled to a, another theme park that shall not be named in Pennsylvania and nearby was an outlet center that had a Disney Store outlet. That had a Disney Store outlet. So of course I had to go. So I dragged my family to the store and was able to pick up a couple things that I'm going to show you today. The first thing that caught my eye was in t-shirt form, but unfortunately all they have was, all they had were extra smalls and that's not happening. So I walked by another display and saw the exact same shirt in a long sleeve Henley style. And that is the, what I'm, this is what I'm calling the Love Mickey shirt. It is very soft. It is very comfortable. I've already worn it. It has the really cute has the really cute word love with the Mickey head and the feet and it's just it's adorable. I knew I had to have it. I find that Disney sizes tend to run a little small. This shirt I bought in a medium. I wish I would have picked it up in a large instead. It does fit in the medium. It's just not never going to be going into the dryer. But I know that in the past, I purchased a shirt in extra large, a t-shirt in extra large at the, in the Magic Kingdom. And that, to me, is just, I'm more usually a, a small medium, medium, because I'm tall. So just when you're shopping for Disney stuff, just keep that in mind, especially as an adult. I know children's they kind of stay true to size, but adults, it's, the size is a little wacky. While walking around the store, I noticed that they had a big discount section in the back. And the store was, like I said, in Pennsylvania, but the majority of the discount section was Disneyland, which I found a little strange, but was so excited because it was stuff that we have never seen. I found this beauty, which I just adore. Halloween is my favorite holiday, and this is from, This is from Disneyland, which it says at the bottom, Disneyland 2015. So it's from the party last year, or Halloween time last year. The picture is just, I love the picture. I think it is so cute with Mickey as a vampire and Minnie as a witch. And they're just cuddled in, and it's so wonderful. It's a hoodie. It has a hood. And this is super, super soft. And this actually fits me. This is a, see this is weird because this is a small. The medium on the long sleeve was a little, you know, it fits, but I would have felt more comfortable with the large. This is a small and this is a little big on me. So once again, Disney sizes, I, I don't understand. Somebody could explain to me that would be great. But I am going to be living in this and I will I will wear this throughout the year. I don't care if it's Halloween or not. Actually, I've already worn it anyway, so because <laughs> I tend to get cold even in summer nights. But I just this is my this by far this is the fa this is the my favorite thing that I picked up that day. Also in the discount section were antenna toppers. Antenna top Disney antenna toppers come. They have tons and tons of designs for antenna toppers. I used to have one that was just a Mickey head. And after about three to four weeks, the poor little thing lost an ear, and I could not have it up on the antenna and just, you know, at the corner of my eye, I see this poor little one-eared Mickey head. So I took him down. I still have him, but I retired him. Now, they had a bin of antenna toppers. Some of them were Disneyland. Some of them were 2015. And then I found this beauty. This is a Madame Leota tombstone from the Haunted Mansion. Now she has, like I said, she has, a, she, is, so present, she has an antenna topper, so she has a little hole down here. She will never be used as an antenna topper because she's just so stinky. I love it. Like, I'm afraid I'll lose it. I'm afraid it will break off. Harsh winter, rain, whatever. She's going to be right back on my cabinet. On the tombstone, it says, Dear Sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now, but having a ball. I wish she blinked. <laughs> I know that they can't do that because she's literally foam, but that would just put it over, that would just put it over the top. But it, it, this is just add to my Haunted Mansion collection. Finally, the kids picked up a couple of things. They have been collecting now. This is an argument in my house. <laughs> 
Are they zumzums? Zoom zooms? We're not sure what to call them. I believe the T is silent. So for now, I'm going to call them zumzums. My son calls them zoom zooms and then gets upset if we mispronounce it. And yeah, it's, it's an argument. So, but they have been collecting them. <laughs> anyway, whatever they're called. My daughter was torn. She found Ariel in her pink dress, which she was so happy with. But she instead decided to pick up Marie, who is just adorable. And she's winking. She's so cute. She's already a little dirty because she's played with in the car. But she's really cute. And then, recently, they released the Beauty and the Beast. And as soon as I received the email that they were going to be releasing the Beauty and the Beast, Zumzums, my son was like, I, I, I want Beast. I, I want Beast. And I was like, okay, okay. The nearest Disney store for us is an hour away. So we rarely get there. So he was super duper excited. And he wanted the Beast one so bad. So we went through the store and he looked at everything. He had so much money that he got to spend that he had earned. And he decided on, we decided on a stuffed BB-8. And then we were waiting in line and I told him, I said, look behind the counter. And there was a display of all the Beauty and the Beast. And they had Beauty and Beast, Gaston, Maurice, Philippe, the horse, Mrs. Pot. And he was like, oh, I want the Beast, right? I was like, okay. So we put the BB-8 back and that is what he picked up. He picked up the Beast. Who is really cute, actually. He is very friendly looking. He's adorable. And his little jacket on and everything. And he's just grinning. And he actually has really good detail in the face, too. I'm actually impressed with him. He's, because some of them, yeah, like, um, what's his name? Jabba the Hutt. He's cute, but he's literally, I mean, he's just a green roll. I mean, how hard is that? But he actually has the detail in his face, so he is really cute. That was all that we picked up that day. Uh, my family had to drag me out of the store once again. But, you know, I'm slowly making all of my wardrobe Disney. <laughs> has there been anything that you've picked up recently that you love, must have? I am looking forward to when they release the actual Halloween collection for the parks for this year and the holiday collection. That is my next, like, I have to know what they're doing. I have to see it. But, um, yeah, let me know. I'm going to link down below in the description box the blog post that coordinates with this. And I have information, too, about the Epcot Food and Wine Festival menus and the bands that are playing and everything like that. It's going to be a great time this year. It's a must-go-to event if you've never been. It is fantastic. So even if it's an adult-only trip, it is perfect. Perfect. You have to go to Food and Wine. It is just, it's incredible. Between all the different kinds of food they have from different countries that are not in World Showcase and drink your way around the world. And it is just an absolute blast. Plus the concert series that happens every day throughout Food and Wine Festival. It is a must. That's about it. That's going to wrap it up for today. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.